I'm going to make a bowl on the potter's wheel. Uh, making a bowl is very much like making the cylinder. I use exactly the same tools. The only difference is that when I make a cylinder, I usually make that with a flat bottom, and I do that by pulling my fingers straight across the bottom and then going straight up the sides. With the bowl, I'm going to pull my fingers across the bottom and lift them at the same time so that the inside of the bowl is rounded. In the final piece, I want the outside shape and the inside shape to be exactly the same. So I want a rounded inside shape on the bowl to match the rounded outside shape. I'll do this precisely the same. Step number one, I need to stick the clay down. As a reminder, remember my arms are braced, always locked in so I can hold my body steady. The wheel does the turning and I hold still. I'm going to lift up a cone and I'll center it by pushing down. I hold this hand absolutely still, push down with the right until the clay fills my left hand. And we'll center the clay, remembering to take your hands away slowly. And my clay should be centered. Remember I didn't drag my hand on the wheel, I keep it up just a little bit. I'm going to open this. My preferred way of opening is just to press a little, my thumbs, a little water, and press down. I'm going to stop before I get to the bottom. I don't want to punch it too far because I want to leave about a half an inch in the bottom so I can put a foot on this piece later. Now we're going to open this by pulling it out against the right hand, but I'm going to pull out and lift at the same time. Pulling in and lifting. So the inside shape now is rounded. I'm going to Cross my hands, my right thumb on top of my left, my fingertip to fingertip, going to squeeze my fingers together and lift to make a cylinder. Now instead of making another pull to make my cylinder thin, I want to leave a little bit of thickness in there because I'm going to make a bowl and I'm going to have to stretch it out and it has to have some clay in to stretch. If I don't leave any clay in there, there won't be any clay to move. So see how this? Pushing with my inside hand against my outside hand. Pushing here with my inside hand against my outside hand. I want to continually remove the water from the inside because the water does tend to work its way through the clay ultimately and will melt the bottom away. I'm looking at the inside. I want the inside to be nice and round because that's the shape that the outside is ultimately going to have. If there's any unevenness at the top, I can trim that off again with my needle tool. Shamming. I need to round this off, keep my chamois good and wet. Round this off. Remember, I said a lot of these things are the same as I've done previously. Once again, I'm working at four o'clock. Using my wooden tool, I'll take away this clay on the side. And take my cutoff wire, cut.
cut it off, and I've made a bowl.